What's going on, everybody? Asad Hashmali back again with episode number eight of Behind the Grind podcast. This time I am um, number eight in number your list. Eight. Number eight. I hate you. You're supposed to be okay. At least let me at least let me like no. flatter you a little bit. You know, then no, then okay. we can like. You're get supposed to be <laughs> supposed to be what? <laughs> Sorry. Supposed to be what? You said you're supposed to be number. You're supposed to be number two. Oh my god. Why number eight then? Because I, I at least What I kept it even, in? you know. Like I kept it as a multiple of two, a factor of two, whatever. Like the math is supposed to be in that. Ah. But like, you know, eventually. You, three hours. Yeah. Three hours. Okay. I so, trust yeah. you. I believe Sign your story. <laughs> yeah. So, everybody, you already heard him. Uh, his name is Ali Anwarzada. This is the uh, um, the dude who taught me. The dude who uh, brought me up on my own feet and uh, pumped me up, watched me go through thick and thin, and also kept inspiring me constantly. He is uh, the owner and founder of two schools. Uh, one by the name of Cedar College, which gave co-founder. me my co-founder. Co-founder. People might get upset. <laughs> Hello. Uh, one of the founders of Cedar College, uh, the place where I started off my career from. Uh, it's, I thought I was an intern, but I felt like I was working like a full-time employee over there, which is awesome. Yeah. And then there was uh, another school which he's also the co-founder of, called the Ivy School, which I helped him set up along with another mentor of mine. So Ali, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for uh, inviting me. And I'm so sorry you're not number two, but we're here. It's okay. We're Who's number? Here. Who was number one, by the way? Taha Gurwara. No, no, Taha Gurwara, an old buddy of mine from school. Yeah. Okay, that's so. Good. But Bilal was number two. I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Sir Ali, basically, and uh, for all those listening, the reason why I called him on is not because, um, but just to still give a little introduction. Along with having gone to, um, uh, along with having been the founder of these two schools, Ali and Wazada is also um, someone who has been through thick and thin in his own journey, and he's actually uh, done a lot of trial and error throughout the course of his time after graduating from Lums and then. Graduating from U Chicago as well. You at the Acumen Fund. You were in banking as well. So, in this conversation, we're not really going to talk about what were those key instances of why banking or why economics and so on, but more about like your own personal story. So, let's dive straight into it. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Yeah. All right. So, Sarvi, yeah. Tell tell me about your time uh, at Lyceum. How was it? Uh, how was your? How were your A levels for you? As compared to how as a, now you as see a student. as a student, as, as a student, and now okay. having your own school in so it. I don't know. I mean, for me, I just um, I just feel lucky that I went to Lyceum for my A levels, and you have no idea how instrumental it was for me. Um, and I did not realize it how instrumental it would be for me. And trust me, now that you ask me and um, this question, and I'm going back. in time and thinking about you know i finished my o levels from habib public school and it was it was a very difficult time because um, i mean i want to sort of uh, i've told this story to a lot of students so i want to tell it again but you know like pakistan islamiyat um, i did pakistan islamiyat uh, and i got a really bad grade and that was like a wake up call for me because um, i was not a bad student but the school at that point in time um i don't know what how the public school is now but at that point in time the teachers were not good and the school wasn't really good and so um plus i have had no money for tuition so i knew that i have to really work hard so my last year of o levels i had i worked really hard like i mean the hard level sort of you know like went to to urdu bazaar got the past papers for different subjects sort of worked backward you know like there was a red spot book uh so yeah. <laughs> fell around so i looked at red spot i was like okay this is what the answer is so okay this is what the theory will be okay this is how so you know like i did that five year six year seven year papers for each and every subject spent like many many hours of cracking the the subjects and and then got myself a decent result like i got like six a's or something like that at that point and i think it was decent enough also a stars were any hote the so this was like a very decent result given 
it was basically done through more or less self study yeah. so when i went to lyceum for the first time uh, i i got teachers who were teaching in classes and i had no need for tuition and they were inspiring because you know like um, they would make you work hard and they would uh, ask for um uh, sort of they had a higher uh, sort of standard and so that kind of look like a learning process began for the first time mm-hmm. and uh, for me i felt uh, uh pretty lucky because you know like and i i'm lucky because you know like it's just like funny this is also a big story about that how i got into lyceum because that's also an important story to understand do share uh do you want to listen to it i don't know yeah, if you yeah, want to start yeah, because yeah, when i was like 9 year old sorry sorry nahi mai jab 9 saal ka tha so this is the story oh, jab mai 9 yeah, saal ka tha yeah yeah you know that story so jab yeah. mai 9 saal ka tha to i went to this uh, goethe institute library which was right right next to my apartment and there were people who were practicing for a play and so they i was like wow these kids are so cool they were a level students i don't know which i didn't know by the way us waqt a levels kya hota hai lekin there was these these sort of grown ups or whatever kids who were grown ups and you know like pretty cool kids guitar guitar baja rahe hain and all that and they were practicing for play so udhar yasin bhai bhi hote the wahan pe abhi bhi license mein kaam karte hain wahi instrumental figure um um in lyceum um so he was there and, and somehow he um knew my dad so he was like oh to manu saab ke beto you know you know work in a play and i was like nine year old i was like yes i want to work in a play and the role was basically i had to sort of go to the stage um drink some wine uh act some uh, stupid and tipsy and that was how it was so that was my first encounter to lyceum and it's fate isn't it fate because you know like just yeah, yeah, randomly yeah. walking and then and then so when i was applying to lyceum funny thing was i had six days but i had a c in english Uh-huh. so uh, <laughs> and you know english aapko aap english mein to nahi kar sakte na uh, engineering yeah, jo maine yeah, sare yeah. subject mein ki thi english mein to english angrezi to weak thi us zamane mein aur 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 genuinely weak thi aur abhi bhi kho khas nahi hai honestly speaking bahut mehnat ki hai isme lekin us waqt ci aaya english mein so wo bahut a lyceum ki policy us waqt aur i think abhi bhi thi Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about Lyceum so much, but if Mrs. Ahmed listens to it, um, Lyceum was a really, really important school in my life because things just went in the right direction when I went to that school. Um, and uh, funny, it's a it's competition now for us, for me, but it's it was it's home for me. I mean, it's done so much to my life. So, anyways, I got a C. So they said कि सॉरी जी सी वाले की तो हम एप्लीकेशन भी नहीं देते आपके छह होंगे लेकिन सी में तो हम आप मैंने कहा कि जी आप प्लीज मेरी एप्लीकेशन ले लें आई रोड डू यू नो एनी वन सो आई रोड यासिन यासिन जो सो आई रोड यासिन भाई आई वॉज लाइक यू नो लाइसिन भाई हो सकते जानते हो एंड आई मेट हिम एज वेल बाई दी वॉज ऑल्सो टेकिंग एप्लीकेशन सो मिस ने अहमद कॉल यासिन भाई एंड शी वॉज लाइक यू नो दिस केड रोड योर नेम एंड सो ही इज गोट सी बट Do you know him? And she's and he was like, you know, you we bacha just then. Wow, she she ki dhal ek play tha. Usme kam kia tha. So they like, oh, oh, acha acha, isko le lo. My admission maap pe ho gaya. Wona bhi chahiye tha, lekin six days ho sakta, ruk sakta tha. Lekin because six days, six days at that time was like a straight. I mean, grammar school. So I think. Yeah. No, no, yeah. seven was rock star. Was grammar school is you know like how K G S result will be the rock star result. Exactly. Seven yeah. was rock star. Yeah. Six is was like. and by the way lyceum was at that point in time st pat's was ranked higher than right lyceum so everyone was mm-hmm. like what are you doing to go to st pat's because you got such a good result in lyceum mm-hmm. was like a party school at that point in time mm-hmm. uh, i mean i'm putting it in <laughs> no but like <laughs> that that's what it was right? like it was like this is the 90s right like it's this is lyceum 90s this is lyceum this was late 90s 10 years old at that time like at 15 years old yeah right? but it was like super party school like it was we uh, like super party school khair anyways main to padhne ke liye gaya tha aur padhai bhi khub ki maine teachers bahut aala the aur jo non science faculty thi it was amazing at lyceum sir bhuiya was there sir naeem was there shamim azam yeah 
So I had like the best faculty mm-hmm. and at the right age as well. They were not old they enough. They were the prime at that time, right? Or something? I mean, they were, they were like, yeah, peaking at that point. They were, mm-hmm. Bria is, is an amazing teacher and very, and my reason of becoming an economics teacher was because I went to his class and I was like, wow, mm-hmm. if this is how teaching is, then I want to be a teacher. So yeah. uh, that's how I got into Lyceum. So what was the question? Sorry, I forgot my Just story. Basically, has how was your really... time at Lyceum? How was your time? Yeah, so it was amazing in that context. I met some really good people who are still my really good friends, close friends. Yeah. I um, created solid bonds with people. You know, the second year of Lyceum, I was missing in action with all the social scene. Because mm-hmm. in our time, AS, A2 didn't happen. In our time, it was only A2. So mm-hmm. when I realized that, dude, now A2 is coming and now, uh, I followed a very crazy schedule. I went back to my grade 11 wala O-level mode and I mm-hmm. studied really hard. I was able to get a good result. And um, funny thing is that there was a story that there was a Lums ka ek poster that there was a Lums about Lums. There was a lot of Lums that there was a lot of Lums. There was a lot of Lums that there was a lot of Lums. There was a lot of Lums that there was a lot of Lums. There was a lot of Lums that there was a lot of I be Jonathan, in fact. Hmm. So Lums ka loan bala lums bot ala jaga yaar, look at the campus and all that. Uzumana me even you to the gap of orientation de tata wara kara ham lums lums apply ke lums no ge lums and scholarship be deep. And somehow or the other I went to lums thanks to And this was I think like, Lums Lums was also just a few years old at that time, right? Lums was like for the the they were oh, their undergraduate degree was not that old, but their graduate degree was was like 10 year old. Okay. Lums ne the salt ho gaye the uske MBA ko. Lekin undergraduate ke I think 3 ya 4 batches hue honge, 3 batches hue honge if I'm not mistaken. 98 mein 3 3 3 ya 4 nikal chuke the. So they first started off with an MBA and then they got into the undergraduate. Yeah, they were a business school. Yeah, yeah, Lums was a business wow. school. Okay. Law University okay. of Management Sciences. Wo jo abhi naam ka bhi masla hua tha wo ye tha ke wo to humne socha tha management sciences tha and now we are hmm. so much more than management sciences so yeah. <laughs> you know something like that yeah so this is you know it's very interesting and it's nice to hear also about lyceum because like regardless of like how time how how the tables have turned and how like time has um, you know unveiled itself but like it's i whenever i meet someone from lyceum also i like how there's something similar that goes in like you know and i feel like yeah the, me, i think there's something it's, that is similar and i'll tell you yeah. what is yeah. the founder the founder being such a uh, person who's who's been um, honest to the cause and mm-hmm. who's been uh, ha- who has a very strong philosophy yeah. and uh, yeah. somebody who hasn't budged on the principles from from the time i was there yeah. to the time when i was there mm-hmm. uh the 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 philosophy of the school has not has not uh, diverted in, in any way possible mm-hmm. and that's that's where that's why probably students when did you go to lyceum i graduated 2012 to 2014 i was there and i remember so 2012 versus 96 to 98 i'm telling you the the some fundamental things in your experience and my experience remain the same. That's and that's it. why, and that's why I think the school is, uh, has been, has been going strong yeah. and has been, uh, instrumental for many people. I mean, I'm not the only person who's been a beneficiary of that good school. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's so many people in the, that I know, uh, that were my students as well, that were my friends as well. And then I've met in the in in this, so it's been it's been like that kind of mm-hmm. a school. Mm-hmm. So I have uh, a lot of respect because it's been important for me yeah. in many ways. So do you think that it's it's what got you to actually consider like pursuing a career in economics or find that love for economics that you have? Yeah. So I mean, a lot of people. I mean, I have a bad memory. Or so I know. I know. They will give me an opportunity. And that's uh-huh. what happened. The day I decided I want to be a teacher, I wrote to Mrs. Ahmed and uh, I got that opportunity. 
and uh, that kind of a belief was also there ki you know what this is a school that will give me an opportunity if ever when i want to become a teacher and then they gave me that opportunity um it's not easy to become a a level teacher by the way itna aaram se aapko mauka nahi milta jitna mujhe mila aaram se um and wo uske piche bhi badi mazi ki kahani hai ke mera interview jab hua to mujhe bola ke bhi aapke paas mrs ahmed ne bola mrs ahmed to keh rahi thi you know what you should you should totally get into it but jinhone mera interview liya mrs basir and mrs sofia who are great friends as well mrs sofia umar तो वो दोनों उन्होंने मेरा इंटरव्यू लिया और उन्होंने कहा कि भाई आपके पास तजुर्बा नहीं है तो ये मसला होगा तो मैंने भाई किसी ने किसी ने तो चांस देना है तो आप दे दें मुझे चांस किसी ने किसी को तो चांस देना है बसीर बड़ी कमाल uh bandi hai so i mean if she's listening to it uh no, thank she you she made me do also so when you left and when the when the cedar project was starting off right so i was working there for 6 months right before joining cedar and uh, yeah. mrs basir asked me to substitute her class uh, when she came she she went for hajj or something she went for umrah and when she came back she got me a tasbeeh and i still have that tasbeeh and i was like wow i hardly doubt she would remember who i am but it's yeah. a sweet little gesture also i and this is what no, she she's been about all the the faculty members over there i think that yeah like, and i think ye bhi ek khoobsurti hai ke you know like yeah. people who a teacher like lyceum um or have a um uh, have a common kind of uh, yeah. a set of values and, and you know like when we were starting our school by the way cedar yeah. jab start kiya cedar ko ek exam ye bhi tha na ye ke bhai coaching ki as he done i mean honestly speaking those teachers were really amazing to coach yeah <laughs> to show baat hai yeah they had the baat i mean they were amazing people to hire i mean you whenever uh, school i mean honestly speaking people came with their own will not that you know like you can coach but you know like yeah they were amazing they are amazing people they, and i think they've been they have also may have uh, had amazing experiences as well तो ये कहानी है लाइसियम की मेरी जिंदगी में कि लाइसियम ने जिंदगी में ऑलमोस्ट ऐसे ऐसे जंक्शन पे रोल प्ले प्ले किया जहाँ पे जिंदगी हैज हेल्प मी इन माय गोल्स एंड समटाइम्स समटाइम्स आई आई एंड फॉर दैट आई थिंक आई हैव टू से अ बिग थैंक यू टू मिसेस अहमद who's been uh, who's been that person for me uh, she's probably upset right now because uh, a lot of things happened uh, speeder happened and all that but if i could sort of go back and fix something i would want to fix probably my relationship with her given that i'm telling you how much she's done in one way or the other i mean starting a school by the way is like is also like a something which um uh, has uh, is is such an important role because a lot of people have benefited from uh, the lyceum school yeah, um, so yeah. mayor was there as well i think um so sham as a teacher yes. like yeah like there's so yeah. so many people and like if you think about it also like um uh, jibran nasir was there like you know you just take a few names like it yeah. goes on and I mean, on and like i think that no yeah. there are tons of people man really instruments yeah. marvi mazhar was there um to me naam aa rahe hain yaad bahut sare log hain aise log hain jinka naam liya was there too yeah so like after the shimali the the guy in the making or already yeah, there man. maybe yeah dude so like it's it's like you know it's it's, it's like we look back at it like it's that wo gurukul you know mohabbat wala jo school tha Amita Bachchan nahi aaye I don't yeah. know I, mean, I, mean, I don't know about that okay dekhi hai bahut sundar dekhi hai movie lekin baat nahi lekin aapko manna nahi hai na ye baat ke ha bhai main bhi hu bali mai i'm too cool for mohabbat cool for mohabbat but regardless pata bhi maine wo recently dekhi mohabbat mohabbat yes like how recently pata nahi kyun dekhi recently but dekhi hai like don't say my wife recently is this trying to No, yeah, yeah, quarantine movie. Yeah, yeah. Because my wife recently thought that no, why not? 
छब्बीस को ऐसी मूवियां दिखाते हैं जिससे इमोशनल से भरे पड़ी हो ताकि उसको ये पार्ट ऑफ इमोशन भी खुल जाए सो आई मीन दिस वॉज अज अ प्लान You know, because it's full of emotions. If you ever want to sort of yeah, talk about yeah, melodrama, yeah. so that's that's your dose of melodrama. Yeah, for sure. But regardless, let's keep this topic. So on the side. Uh, let's keep this topic on the side now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going too east. Um, but uh, so when was it that you realized that you you actually wanted to? Okay, forget like your career in teaching. Tell me about your career before teaching. What were you up to over there? What was like the trial and error? Yeah, that was very. Time? so yeah i was very like um confused i can say um confused in the sense that you know like i always wanted to do something which i like and you know meri kahani hai thi ki main undergraduate mein aata us waqt jab kar raha tha to computer science aur economics dono ko saath chalaya कंप्यूटर साइंस की डिग्री की लेकिन इकोनॉमिक्स भी साथ साथ रखा गया था जबकि इकोनॉमिक्स के लिए लोगों ने बोला कि कंप्यूटर साइंस ले लो क्योंकि टू थाउजेंड वन का टाइम था जब मार्क जो आपका प्री नाइन इलेवन का टाइम था टेक्स सेक्टर बूम कर रहा था लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल हुआ ग्रेजुएटिंग फ्रॉम नाम्स हमसे पहले उनको माइक्रोसॉफ्ट में नाइनटी नाइन में जॉब मिलती थी नाइनटी नाइन टू थाउजेंड में जॉब मिल रही थी दुबई में इंटरव्यू हो रहा था और फिर सियाटल में जॉब मिल रही थी सो इट वॉज अ टिकट टू यू एस बेसिकली सो हमने सोचा कि हम भी वो टिकट करा लेते हैं जल्दी ले लेंगे उसके बाद छोड़ देंगे चार तीन साल साल काम करेंगे कंप्यूटर साइंस में उसके बाद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट से एम बी ए कर लेंगे माइक्रोसॉफ्ट के बाद एम बी ए कर लेंगे ये प्लान था या कुछ ऐसा करेंगे जो उसमें एक और मास्टर्स बाहर से कर लेंगे कुछ कर लेंगे स्कॉलरशिप ले लेंगे सो अजीब ही ख्याल थे उसका उसका असर ये हुआ कि जब टू नाइन इलेवन हो गया मार्केट वर रियली बैड इकोनॉमी वॉज इन रिसेशन एंड पाकिस्तान वॉज इन टफ स्पॉट बिकॉज सब कुछ पाकिस्तान पर ब्लेम हो रहा था एंड ऑल कि भाई यहाँ पर भी टेररिज्म होती है वर्ल्ड सिग्निफिकेंसी चेंजिंग सो बट द फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर सडनली स्टार्टेड टू बूम इन पाकिस्तान एंड इट्स फनी बिकॉज एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम एंड सुन एज मुस्लिम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड रिलाइज दैट और एटलीस्ट पाकिस्तान इज ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड रिलाइज दैट यू नो वॉट uh it's not safe to keep their fundings in the banks abroad let's decide to pour money in pakistan in in various things like for example uh land and for example stock exchange uh so what start that started to happen so 911 shuru mein jab pehle chhe mahine bure hue the jab main graduate hua to bura time tha lekin 2003 things started to boom again um so um so basically what was the question bhul gaya what was your uh, try what was the time like before um, teaching what were you up to yeah, yeah so i was very all set on, on going on uh, in the financial sector aur usme bhi badi ek badi kahani hai ek aur khoobsurat kahani ki mujhe apni pehli job kaise mili i don't know if you have time for this there but basically there's a moral of the story i used to say hello to a professor professor unka uh, naam tha bashir uh a really amazing good looking um uh, old guy used to wear amazing jackets and and uh, s- sort of uh, ties and um, not like a three piece suit wala wala nahi but jacket hoti thi and ties hoti thi and khakis hoti thi you know like my kind of like a guy ke aur chashma tha white dadi thi thodi si halki si amazingly um well spoken charismatic well spoken i would always say hello to him matlab ye ja raha hota hai matlab hi sir how are you hath milana unke sath you know like that kind of thing kya banda hai and all that um, so he knew my name but we never had this lumps i'm sorry this was lumps so i'm telling you the story of lumps so so when i was about to graduate and i knew ke bhai halat bahut kharab hai so i just was like yaar let me just go to sir bashir professor bashir and i was let me just have a chat with him and talk to him about you know like ko bataye ki koi koi naukri milegi ya nahi milegi so i went to him and he's like uh randomly i remember 7 7:30 7:00 baje the lums mein so i saw ki uh lums ki agar if you've been to lums badi badi khidkiyan hain so if there was a professor wo agar baitha hota to kamre mein uski light khuli hoti to humne main i saw him sitting i was like you know what this is a great opportunity let me just walk in So I knocked. I was like, "Hi, sir. This is Ali." Uh, he said, yeah, "Yeah, yeah, I know you. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
please please have a seat it was like a robert de niro kind of like a personality although he wasn't like that but i'm just making a sound like it. but like a really <laughs> charismatic thing uh-huh. and i was like would you knock me see ki talash hai i'm about to graduate and i'm like very scared because you know like i want to sort of he's like okay okay you know what you do something a friend of mine called me he's looking for people although he's looking for mbas why don't you try and he gave me his number and he's like jao apply ko ab unko unko phone guma do so this was pakistan credit rating agency which is pakra which is one of the two uh, rating agencies and literally i didn't know about anything about what rating is why you do why do you do rating uh, how do you do rating and mai wahan pahunch gaya pehle unko unko bola ke ji mujhe bashir sahab ne number diya unhone bola aa jaye aap monday ya tuesday ko mai taiyar ho yaar okay pahunch gaya wahan pe so he's like um so he started my interview so my resume he's like oh you haven't an mba i was like no sir mai to undergraduate and he's like okay so but <clears throat> do you know accounting i was like yeah i know accounting from a levels and i was a very good at it and all that so he's like but then you won't be able to do this job but as like you said give me mauka dijiye aap ha chance to dein wala jo appeal hoti meri so he's like yeah okay let's just start so he's like okay you start at 24 and uh, so 24 was like 24000 2400 maine kha mujhe kaha you start at 24 and if your work is good we'll uh bring it up to 30 nahi we'll bring it up to 20 28 something like that so i went back uh and i was i told my friends guys i think i got a job but ajeeb si baat hi koi 24 or 30 20 24 to bahut zyada hai paise nahi hai kuch zamane mein let me tell you the story mujhe 5000 rupaye milte the uh for my apartment uh and my food i had an apartment that i was sharing with um, uh, an apartment mate raza like kizabash who was also uh, one of the oh i saw okay yeah 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 in this is that at 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 cedar uh so 2500 rupaye mere hote the 2500 rupaye raza deta tha aur 2500 rupaye mein main khana dal bal kha leta tha khana kha leta maximum 6000 rupees mein so 24 was like 6 times 6424 four times more money coming to me for work i was like what the hell you know like mujhe yakeen hi nahi aaya ke 24000 rupees chal liye aap bhai maine bataya 24000 rupees to mere dost ko bhi yaar tu 24 se karega kya hame bhi koi thoda sa dega milna bhai tum log bhi lena yaar koi masla nahi hai but like 24000 rupees ki salary wali job mili mujhe which was like uh, an achievement wow and i started but you know the moral of the story is basically uh saying hello to somebody who you felt um is not a i mean is a stranger but you just say hello to everyone and by the way he's not he's not the only person i used to say hello to i used to say hello to the guard i used to say hello to the the guy who would serve us food i would say hello to the janitor i would say hello to every single person i would say hello to girls left front center by matlab So I would say hello to them. I would say hello to everyone, and I would be like a person who was like known to be approachable. And yeah. and my belief was everyone is also approachable. Mira, ये बड़ा बोलता कि यार किसी को भी बस आपको मिलना है बात करनी है घुस जाओ बात कर लो लड़की हो लड़का हो जैसा हो दिल कर रहा है आपको बात करने का बात कर लो क्या पता you know don't be shy to write that email. उस जमाने में ईमेल की बड़ी रिस्पेक्ट होती थी जब आप किसी को ईमेल लिखते थे तो आपको डेफिनेटली जवाब मिल जाता था डोंट बी शाइड राइट एन ईमेल डोंट बी राइट शाइड टू आस्क फॉर वर्क डोंट बी शाइड टू आस्क फॉर एन अपॉर्चुनिटी डोंट बी शाइड टू हेल्प एनीवन यू नो दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग एंड सो दैट्स हाउ आई गॉट माय जॉब फर्स्ट जॉब एंड व्हाइल आई वाज इन द जॉब आई वाज लाइक यार एमबीए कर लेते हैं एंड देन आई अप्लाइड फॉर एन एमबीए एंड आई गॉट इनटू एन एमबीए बिकॉज़ ऑफ द जॉब and because of those hellos that i used to say and then bishi became my professor and i had an opportunity to actually attend a class uh where he was my teacher and i got a really good high grade in his class and uh usme bhi logon ki theory hai mere doston ki theory hai ki because you knew him from before that's why you got a good grade which could be true because mba mein lums mein bahut perception chalta tha ki you know like what you speak wo jo wahan pe hoti thi class participation 50% hoti thi so it was all about teachers perception so 
in that class i got a a plus because i used to say hello to them <laughs> but see that's the and i was like you know like our, our parents tell us say uh, bachpan se hi ke yaar har kisi ke sath bana ke rakho sab se acche se milo and then yeah like, but ab nahi bolte by the way ab nahi bolte that's surprising yeah ab nahi bolte like ab nahi bolte because like the fear of kala sath milo no man no 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 funny thing is i'm telling you this also that when i went to chicago i was friends with the guy who was like um the in the general staff um he was a black guy who had um, and we and i used to have like those kind of like throats balne with the is like hey i like your mohawk man i did so what he chit chat thi uske wo mere balon ko appreciate karta tha main pata nahi kya appreciate karta tha lekin hamari kuch thi ek ek bond tha ek bond tha hamara so that bond uh, with people um is sometimes is sometimes going to be helpful i don't know and i never used that's to the, that's the beauty of relationships you know like i feel like and, and so when when uh, in march or something or in november last year 2019 bilal and me went to dubai and we met tawseef over there and uh, tawseef made us meet a few of his friends okay we were with him from uh, like um uni days All right, and the guy, mm. one of the guys we met, Belal, and I still talk about. It. It's like one of the guys he, we met, we met was in the Mall of Emirates. He comes to us. He's wearing um, like a silver Rolex watch. All right, putty V jeans and a black V neck. Humble guy. He's like, you know, hey, what's up? My name's Ata. He's like, Asad, what do you do? Oh, I work in insurance and stuff. And I, where you guys? Pakistan. Oh, I come to Karachi sometimes. Like my wife thinks I have another wife in Pakistan. That's how much I come. Hi, hello, chit chat. We used to Tosif Kili, Tosif News Kili. They went back. Tosif later tells us this guy is the CEO of the second largest insurance company in the world. Wow! Uh, And I'm like, that's the power of relationships. Also, is like, like Tosif like showed me that literally the people who, if you walk in with the right intention, I think that you know it's gonna help you in some way or the other. You and I, I still think this. You and I, uh, you taught me in A levels. I was always in the back. You still don't remember that I had dengue, but I that's okay. You know, now I think we're like. I remember guys. that, by the way. I remember dengue. I also remember a lot of things. I remember a lot of stuff stuff about you. Yeah, but see, like our relationship from back then. Now it seems even more beautiful when we look back at it, and then when we see each mm-hmm. other, it's like this is like in the past what six years. So much has changed. and we've seen each other through that process also and where you've seen me grow up i used to um, yeah i but yeah and i think ye hota hai i think i think aur cheez badi um uh important jo bhi hai ke um don't do networking with the idea that you will benefit out of it i think that's also an important thing yeah. do it in with the with the idea that you got to be respect, respectful and yeah. it's about um, being nice like don't expect something in return yeah. but just be nice yeah. like actually try to build a relationship nice. with someone and don't yeah, actually, yeah. but so like but did you ever have this fear of like you know doing it the wrong way like you said like you know just send that email but was, did you ever feel that there was that there was something stopping you from actually building that relationship from like expanding your network or and like maybe just making a complete fool out of yourself i mean i might have done that uh made my uh, made a fool out of uh in a situation but this uh is something which i feel that even when i have done that hasn't af- affected me mm-hmm. you know like kabhi kabhi aap dar jaate ho aap kehte ho ki you know like ho sakta hai relationship kharab ho jaye ya ho sakta hai main aapki kisi opportunity and i think i have uh, might have done that in some circumstances for some in some times you know things might people might not have responded to me the way i wanted to but it has never stopped me from not reaching out mm-hmm. you know like to people um and that's why sometimes koi agar randomly mujhe likhta hai na aur wo uh us email mein agar um somebody is respectful i always feel obligated to respond back i was like you know what yeah maybe your situation hota to agar main likh raha hu so you know yeah. why not yeah. so i do that also और जो अपना आजकल लोग जो है वो व्हाट्सएप पे कर देते हैं आपसे रैंडमली बात कर देते हैं लेकिन अगर कोई ईमेल लिखे या फेसबुक पे आपको कभी लिखता है या कोई व्हाट्सएप भी कर देता है सो आई रिस्पॉन्ड बैक और ट्राई टू रिस्पॉन्ड बैक अनलेस द गाइस लाइक टॉकिंग टू मी इन अ मैनर व्हिच इज लाइक आई एम लाइक द 101 रिस्पेक्ट 
wala jo hota hai wo missing hai the basics of respect is missing so i'm really like you know what should i school this guy or just to give you a scene sir sir so sally i have a question for you which might require some quick soul searching but uh, throughout your time um throughout like maybe in going to chicago what do you feel like was that uh, what do you feel was that one moment where uh that actually defined you it was like life changing for you in a way that that was a lesson you learned and that's before chicago forget the, at any point before my mom could be after chicago also life changing lesson yeah that's something that actually like made you who you are yeah there's so many things that have happened in my life i don't know whether they um they were life changing in the sense that uh I mean alhamdulillah there hasn't been a, a tragedy of any sort that has happened to me mm-hmm. that could be life changing there hasn't been any low moment that i remember uh enough to say ke oh, that was life changing there been like small 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 things that have happened in my life which has nudged my life to the right direction mm-hmm. um so that's probably how i feel that it's not been a significantly uh movie making life i could would say ke jo se meri zindagi ko jo hai wo transform kiya hoga uh lekin ye ke i think that's why i feel sometimes that you know like a lot of times i've put hard work um and i've done that not with the uh, not with a lot of pain as in when i was doing it i was kind of like enjoying it and that's where it has worked well for me for example there was a time when i was teaching and working in uh, a corporate a bank at the same time and wo hota ye tha ki kabhi kabhi raat ko 10 baje aap office wa office se aao wapas uske baad aapko subah 8 baje ki class ke liye pura lesson banana padta tha so i would do it but i would do it with a lot of fun because i was like i love teaching so maine apne upar dal diye to you know also another story was like when i was about to go to university of chicago and that's another story you know like i was about to go to university of chicago and i was like yaar kuch karne ko nahi hai thoda sa time mil raha hai why don't i write to acumen fund and say you know what i'm available if you want me to get do some work and the guy wrote back and said like, yes i have some work for you uh and i was like oh my god mai to aise hi likh raha tha kaam actually aa gaya he's like yes there's yes, the project you want to work for it teen mahine ki wo hai I was like, yeah, I'm free for three and three and five. So he hired me for an internship, or was it a job? I don't remember, and I don't even remember that I was paid for it or not. I don't think I was paid for it. But he said, you know what? And then I was like a relationship manager for that deal, which was a housing deal, and I did it. And while I was doing it, I was like, yeah, I'm going to Chicago. क्यों मैंने एक्टिमेंट uh, फंड में जो है वो ये रोल ले लिया और उसमें पूरी बहुत ज्यादा सर ऑफ बैक एंड फोर्थ डील थी सो वन डे आई हैड अ बिग डेडलाइन फॉर दैट इंटर्नशिप एंड फनी थिंग वाज लाइक इट वाज अ स्मॉल ऑफिस इन कराची सो आई हैड अ की फॉर दैट ऑफिस इन केस बिकॉज आई यूज टू लीव लेट सो आई वुड लॉक द ऑफिस एंड ऑल दैट सो वन डे आई वाज यू नो वॉट I went to the office at 5 a.m. and I started working. And uh, the the guy who was the CEO of of uh, Acumen Pakistan, On Rahman, really good friend now. Um, uh, he used to live right next to that office, so he saw the light of the office on. He freaked out. He thought that someone chore came in. And when he came and he saw me working, he was like almost. uh emotionally charged and he's like wow this guy has this work ethic sare 5 baje 6 baje banda aake tak 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 pagalon ki tarah kaam kar raha hai and so he kind of like was so impressed he was like this is this is the guy and you know why i was doing it i was not doing it ki mujhe kisi ko mujhe ye tak bhans isko khatam karo aage nikalo taki zindagi mein zindagi mein kuch aur bhi kar pao bas subah aake lage raho और आज मैंने खत्म करना मस्त है और उसको देना है उसके बाद यू नो लाइक आई वांट टू जस्ट जस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ स्विच ऑफ एक्यूमेंट सो दैट आई कैन थिंक अबाउट माय ड्रीम्स ऑफ गोइंग टू द यूएस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ शिकागो फुल बैट स्कॉलरशिप ऑल एक्सपेंसेस पेड 
یو نو لائک میں اس موڈ میں چل رہا تھا اور اس میں جو ایکومنٹس ہے نا اس وقت وہ بس پین فلی جو ہے وہ زندگی کو چلا رہا تھا بٹ بیکاز آئی کمیٹیڈ ٹو ایٹ آئی لائک آئی جسٹ نیڈ ٹو سر آف گیٹ اے ڈن بٹ یو بی سرپرائز یو نو دیٹ دیٹ کین آف ایکسپیرینس واز سو انسٹرومینٹل بیکاز وین آئی اپلائی فار مائی انٹرن شپ ٹو ایکوم ان نیو یارک آئی واز سلیکٹڈ ابو the graduates from Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Brown, for MBAs and all that. I was the first one to get, I mean, I was from Chicago, but not from the business school. I was from the policy school. And I got my uh, internship in um, New York, which was a big deal. Because New York, I didn't see it in three months in New York. I got internship in New York. I got so much money that I got a ticket from there. I went to Mexico. I went to Mexico. I went to Cancun. اور وہاں پہ پارٹی کی بٹ یو نو لائک دیٹ واز دا ریزن وائی اگر مائی انٹرنشپ ان ایکوم ان نیو یارک وچ واز این امیزنگ ایکسپیرینس اینڈ دین آئی ہیڈ اے کنفرم جاب اینڈ آئی واز کمنگ ٹو پاکستان ایکوم ان پاکستان آفر می اے جاب بیکاز آف آل مائی ایکسپیرینسز اینڈ بیکاز آن لائک می اینڈ سو ہی واز لائک یو نو واٹ اینڈ سو یو فنی تھنگ از دس دیٹ Then this is July 2nd, July 2nd, 2009, I left um, US and July 4th or 5th, I was in Bahawalpur sitting with this random dude on a bike and he was showing, showing, me, <laughs> showing me the project because I came back and on was like, please join right away. And Monday, ko main hon, usne mujhe, matlab, main Friday, ko main land kiya hon, منڈے کو میں نے جوائن کیا اور منڈے کی شام کو ٹکٹ کٹا کے ٹیوزڈے کو بہاول پور میں میں پیچھے بیٹھا تھا فرائیڈے کو میں نیو شکاگو میں تھا اور آج میں بہاول پور کے سائیکل میں پیچھے بیٹھا ہوا ہوں اینڈ سو یو نو لائک اینڈ واز فورٹی ڈگریز ان بہاول پور بٹ دس ہاؤ لائف از بٹ آئی واز لائک تھینک فل کہ یار کم از کم نوکری ہے اور پیسے ملیں گے cross the the lock key figure in terms of my salary at acumen it was a handsome job for a social sector cast up and it was something which i really wanted to do it was like finance in a social setting in a firm that was a u.s based firm which was doing good work because i didn't want to get into corporate uh offer my public policy degree so and that's also share luck i wrote an email to a guy thinking Kishar would reply nahi karega. He replied and he gave me an offer and I took it up despite I could have said no, I, I, I want to chill. But that offer gave me sort of uh, my opportunity to work at Acumen, not only in New York, but later as well. And I think uh, that's what, how my life has been. Um, similarly, you know, like Cedar may be, jo Cedar ki bhi kaani hai, main Nixar mein um, prahara tha. لائسن میں بھی پڑھا رہا تھا اینڈ امیر سے دوستی ہوئی بلال سے میری راک سے کم تھی لیکن بلال سے میری ہمیشہ اس کے پاس بیگز ہوتے تھے آف دس کمپنی دیٹ بگ فین آف ایز ویل واٹس کمپنی ان شکاگو میں نے نارتھ فیس کا بیگ میرے پاس نارتھ فیس کا بیگ تھا شکاگو میں سو میں میں سو بلال ہیونگ نارتھ فیس بیک اینڈ لائک ڈو نارتھ فیس واؤ وی آر سو آئی واز لائک یہ بندہ جو ہے نا بھائی ہے یہ بھائی ہے اس کا اچھا ٹیسٹ ہے اینڈ دس ہاؤ آئی یو سی ہیلو ٹو ہیم بیکاز آئی لائک دس بیگ اینڈ آئی واز لائک یہ بیگ اس کا نارتھ فیس کا تو یہ بندہ بھی ہیرا ہوگا یہ بھی فٹ ہوگا اور عمیر عمیر سے میری جگڑی ہوئی تھی بیکاز عمیر واز دا مائی کائنڈ آف اے پرسن یو نو آئی وانٹ یوز word but you know like my chilled kind out. of person so <laughs> 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 chilled out and also like thoda bachcha da sa thoda sa yeah. masti so umair and so we we clicked and uh, again random in- instances we came together we left the lyceum and uh, nix it together and we started uh, cedar yeah. and martial arts has yeah. been instrumental and i know mean it's been amazing Yeah. Uh, yeah. So part I of my life. This this thing is that 
hearing you and this is something i've always like admired about you it's not even about like having to have a kick in your ass from some external forces you know it's like you kick your own ass that's what i've always about get, you is yeah yeah you no no i like, i always i always want to do you know like when i was a student i was a very nervous student and i think this is an important thing to understand what makes me who i am i'm not like a, i'm a nervous i i get nervous when i things are not in my control and from a very young age i had that kind of a problem uniform dulawani oh my god what the what the hell i would get anxiety in zakar i know but how about the anxiety kick hai ki mujhe banda uniform nahi pehen ke jana to main dho leta hu khud dho raha hu khud wo kar raha hu moze ke dar hain acha yaar subah ko ye scene kya karna hai you know like oh my god tomorrow is a test to uske liye pad leta hu ye wo apna ek standard tha aur ek ye tha ki i will not i do not want to disappoint my parents ye bhi ek dimag mein tha amma baba ko disappoint nahi karna uh or will be the standard of uh, high quality and i think that kind of feeling um has always been around and uh, by the way there were there were times when i've uh, not done well in my life i mean my lumps gp wasn't really high and uh, i wasn't really able to uh do just in just as in computer science it was a bad decision to do computer science because life could have been easier at lumps if i was doing economics because economics was a passion sort of wo kama khai mein computer science bhi uska workload liya aur uske baad uh काम आया किसी ना किसी तरह लेकिन ये कि इतना कोई काम नहीं आया कि जिंदगी जो है वो वो कंप्यूटर साइंस में हमने कुछ किया है एंड एंड देन आई मीन आई हैव आई हैव थिंग्स राइट इज लाइक लाइक आई थिंक वी ऑल टेंड टू गेट कॉट अप इन द सेक्स बिहाइंड द स्टोरी राइट एंड लाइक द द लाइक द द द व्हाट्स लाइक एंड इट्स डिफिकल्ट आई मीन आई डोंट ब्लेम लाइक सब बोलते हैं ना एग्जैक्टली अभी बच्चे बोलते हैं कि सब मैं सीए कर लूता हूँ सीए कर लेता हूँ सब सीए कर लेता हूँ मैं भी सीए कर लेता हूँ या मैं फला कर लेता हूँ मैं अकाउंटिंग आजकल वो चल रहा है so yeah so so what do you think is that that one quality of yours which actually helped you the most like is it is it just like hard work is it just like honesty and like you know respect for others what is it that you feel that that you would actually yeah, i think i uh, to work on but then like there's some issues that i have that i know that i have and i've recognized them that i have i mean i don't have that kind of uh, attention to detail ek bada important masla mere andar ye mera attention to detail bahut kam hai and you made me uh, do it i still remember this yeah i mean i told you uh, attention yeah. is important because kisi na kisi role pe bada zaruri hota hai or um, you can lose your job because of lack of attention and i by the way lost one job because of attention to detail i'm not going to tell you that story but i've lost a job because of lack of attention to detail the king has been fired what oh, i was i was i was like the golden yeah, child was, has been fired <laughs> I was asked to leave. I was asked to leave. Pyar se ki bida ap cut leave. You fired. Luckily, us waqt lump me. Yes, I was fired. Luckily, luckily, us waqt lumps me MBA me admission ho chuka tha. But I was asked to leave. Yeah, yeah. because of lack and of was, attention to detail. And I'm on. I'm going to tell you what big uh, stupidity I did. But basically, big thing. I was. Let me tell you the story. I think it could. If you're listening, then you'll get a good lesson. So I was about. 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 Now, so Standard Chartered, if you look at it, it's been like a clean kind of a bank, you know, like it's a burger bank. Then up the back is a bank. It's sort of the Standard Chartered. So the people who Standard Chartered hire also are are very meticulous, but they're demanding also. At least in that point in time, 2000. So, their new manager came, and his rating was 
वो समहाउ और अदर हमारे बॉसेस जो थे वो चाह रहे थे कम हो सो दे वर ट्राइंग टू पुट प्रेशर ऑन द द कंपनी उनका जो मुदारबा था मुदारबा वाज लाइक इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इस्लामिक इंश्योरेंस कंपनी थी उस पे प्रेशर डाले थे कि भाई नहीं हम आपको अच्छी रैंकिंग नहीं देंगे और रेटिंग नहीं देंगे रैंकिंग इज बेसिकली रेटिंग रेटिंग नहीं देंगे आपको एंड सो आई वाज डीलिंग विद ऑल द मुदारबास सो आई हैड अ वेरी टाइट डेडलाइन एंड सो व्हाट आई डिड रॉन्ग वाज जस्ट दैट उसमें एक पैराग्राफ होता था अबाउट सेक्टर यू नो लाइक सेक्टर एनालिसिस होता था फिर कंपनी एनालिसिस कंपनी एनालिसिस वगैरह कर दिया वाज लाइक सेक्टर एनालिसिस था एंड इट वाज लाइक वन इन द मॉर्निंग आई वाज इन द ऑफिस एंड आई वाज लाइक लेट मी जस्ट गो टू सम अदर मुदारबा आई थिंक इट वाज फर्स्ट समथिंग मुदारबा उसकी रिपोर्ट से ले लेता हूं और वहां डाल देता हूं और उसको मैं प्रूफ रीड कर लूंगा बाद में और फिर क्योंकि सेक्टर तो वही है ना बकलती है वही <laughs> उस सेक्टर की जो लास्ट लाइन थी देर फोर फर्स्ट फला मुदारबा विल हैव अ चैलेंज तो वो स्टैंडर्ड चार्टर के मुदारबे में वो लाइन चली गई जब वो क्लाइंट के पास गई द क्लाइंट वॉज इज इज अ मेटिकुलस क्लाइंट सो ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू मेक अ केस ऑफ वाई द रैंकिंग वॉज लो एंड ही सॉ दैट लाइन ही इज लाइक यू नो वट कैन ऑफ एनालिसिस आई यू टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस इज यू जस्ट रोड फर्स्ट आई नो वो मिस मुदारबा और फर्स्ट फला मुदारबा इन आर रिपोर्ट विच मीन्स योर वर्क हिस्ट्री थी सो माई बॉसेज हैड टू कम ऑन अ बैकफुड तो उन्होंने मुझे बुलाया उन्होंने कहा भाई ये आपने क्या किया वीवर We were on the front foot. आपकी वजह से आपकी चित्तैपिक वजह से मैं back foot पाना पड़ा. Your report, credibility of your report went down because you wrote something which was from other, which means they were like, you know what? They didn't believe in all the other analysis. And so, what you can do is basically you can get out. Uh, <laughs> you can leave. Give us a resignation. Yeah. Yeah. Give us a resignation yeah. and uh, serve your notice period. Yeah. And I was like. Okay, thank you. Lesson learned. I don't know whether I learned any lesson or not, but I lost a job because of lack of uh, lack of uh, attention to details. I learned. still have that problem. That's no, because I'm learned. actually Read I'm a I'm a forest kind of guy. So I'm a forest kind of guy. I'm a guy who will look at the big picture. Sometimes I may not look at it, but most of the time I look at the big picture. I want to. I'm more. I'm more of a guy who wants to get things done rather than how to get them done. in a in the best yeah. possible manner i'm that kind of a person who's like yaar iterations se seekh lenge pehli baar cheez agar na bhi achhi nikle like bilal hamid is a guy who's like perfection the first time iteration will happen but perfection the first time he's got a much higher standard of blue umair and i are more like a like similar kind of people mm-hmm. we will get it done and then think about okay this is what we've learned and this is what we will do next time better so we are similar in that manner and bilal and rock are probably people who like let's do it uh let's do it the good. first time and then we'll see yeah they are like those kind of people and i think uske ye do kind of like notions hamesha hamare yahan rahe hain uh seizer mein lekin because ye notions the to is wajah se cheeze hui hain uh achhi bhi hui hain so but but that's what basically uh how we are or we have been Interesting, sweet. So now that you mentioned the, the gang, the Cedar Gang, what? And I don't want to talk about Cedar actually because I have missed out some some really important people in the gang, by the way. Yeah, they all know who that's they true. are. This is all out of fun and love, anyways. Yeah. Um, but like, I don't want to talk about Cedar because like I kind of helped you make it also. But uh, the point yeah. is that. When was it? I saw the since the lockdown. By the way, props to you. You've become pretty much like Facebook famous. Also, this is I think a fourth uh, live uh, session or recording of sorts. There was two podcasts, one summit, and now behind the grind, right? You did one Alicia meme. There's another student of yours who recorded you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My old student. Yeah, one of my. Yeah, yeah. yeah I saw that. I saw. I saw a bit of that, and I skimmed over it. And I saw that uh, the intro. He said that Ali, you have to always say that you have to open a school, open it, and you have to change the education system in Pakistan. Change the education system, change the education system, change the education system. And when I heard that, I was like, "That's interesting." Well, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. 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 I don't remember
खोलते हैं फिर ये हुआ कि यार लो इनकम बाद में खोलेंगे पहले हाई इनकम खोलते हैं पैसे कमा लें फिर या वी वर वेरी क्लोज टू वी वर वेरी क्लोज टू ओपनिंग अ स्कूल दैट वाज अफोर्डेबल ए लेवल स्कूल सो हाउ डिड दिस सो ये मेरा हाउ डिड दिस हाउ डिड दिस ड्रीम एंड दिस एस्पिरेशन ऑफ लाइक गेटिंग एन एजुकेशन फॉरगेट लाइक फॉरगेट टीचिंग बट लाइक टीचिंग आई थिंक वाज लाइक दैट फर्स्ट स्टेपिंग स्टोन दैट यू डिड टू डू लाइक अ हाई इंपैक्ट प्रोजेक्ट अम एंड नाउ यू गॉट टू रनिंग right one is uh, for the near to near future and one is for like the long term uh, id being that long term how did you think about this so like what was that that reason for you to want to do this uh, want to do uh, to start a school just get an education yeah start a school teach get an, an impact teach and- yeah uh, honestly speaking i was uh, the way i thought about uh, teaching was like i was like this is the kind of work which while you are doing it you loving it and you're getting paid for it uh and there is a possibility to even make uh, good money if you are really good so i was like ye ach job hai matlab aap ko maza aa rahe ho paise bhi mil rahe hain aapko ye meri philosophy thi teaching ke bare mein i was like corporate job mein aapko maza nahi aa raha hota aapko paise mil rahe hote hain kisi aur job mein aapko maza nahi aa raha hota aapko paise mil rahe hote hain yahan pe aapko maza bhi aa raha hai aur aapko paise mil rahe hain अजीब सर का मजा आ रहा है पैसे मिलने लेकिन ये कि यू नो लाइक दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग आपको मजा आ रहा है आपको पैसे मिलने आई शुड या यू शुड नॉट बी एंजॉयिंग योर जॉब आई मीन मंडे मॉर्निंग ब्लूज वो जो टर्म है बट दैट डिड हैपन विद मी सो दैट्स व्हाई फॉर मी गेटिंग इनटू टीचिंग वाज लाइक आई समटाइम्स अंडर यू नो लाइक मैं बहुत प्रेशर में था एक स्टूपिड uh, प्रेशर में था कि यार मैं अगर टीचिंग करूंगा तो लोग क्या बोलेंगे लोग क्या कहेंगे कि यार तुमने लम से पढ़ा अंडर ग्रेजुएट लम से एम बी ए किया शिकागो से भी पढ़ ला आपने दो प्लस दो चार प्लस चार अंडर ग्रेजुएट चार और आठ साल तो आपने सिर्फ पढ़ा है और आप आके फिर टीचिंग कर रहे हैं आप किसी कॉपरेट में जाएं आप किसी पैसे कमाएं कोई वगैरह वगैरह फायदे में मुझे ये भी डर लगता था कि मैंने कुछ ज्यादा पढ़ लिया है क्यों लाइक आठ साल अगर आप किसी स्कूल में हो चलो चार साल अंडर ग्रेजुएट सबने किया है चार साल ऑफ द जॉब मार्केट यू मिस आउट बिकॉज यू वर इन अ डिग्री those for four, four years somebody else is working and he's probably going up the corporate ladder yeah, yeah. but you were in school which means you I, i used to feel like that i was like man i'm behind four years behind my friends who didn't go to grad school and still you know like khair allah ka shukar hai wo masle uh nahi hue because i've had great time and i'm happy where i am स्कूल And I think one of the reasons why Mrs. Ahmed was very upset with me was 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 the idea that she might not have given me a chance if she knew that I would start a school one day. Uh, at least that's what seemed seemed like. Or she would have been like, "Yeah, if you had that feeling of starting a school, then you should have shared that with me." Mm-hmm. But honestly speaking, I didn't know whether. I will be able to start a school at any point in time. Because passive to not be, na. Like I am not a rich guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think up until you guys did it, start... it seemed like a very, very ambitious goal, which was not attainable yeah. at all. Like you have no idea how I got the money for starting a school. वो भी पता नहीं क्या क्या हुआ कैसे आए वो पैसे उसकी भी कहानी है लेकिन वो personal कहानी है तो बताना वाला नहीं समझ आता लेकिन but literally it was like sheer luck that I got money. uh for the school and i need to 
be thankful about that as well because um i mean honestly thing about that brother don't think we need to finally bad nahi my dad was moving back from london to karachi and unhone bichare ne ek ek ghar tha unka wahan par jo ki mortgage pe tha but wo mortgage ke baad beech rahe the to uski property prices upar thi to thode bahut paise mil gaye the unko and he's like uh, ali i would want to give it to you but if you want to start a school mere se paise le lo ye wo mile plus a lot of help from um, uh, umair and rock and other people in terms of like uh, helping each other and that's how we i was able to get the money for the school but waise to aqat nahi thi school start karne ki aur teaching mein bhi paisa jo bhi tha wo was something which was used for managing so i was i mean again luck a good friend and uh, a lot of uh, um i mean um father helping at the, at the right time uh, i mean right time to wo to waise hi help karte lekin unke paas bhi koi itni wo nahi tha but but he gave whatever he had to me yeah. uh, and uh, it came at the right time and so you know like these small small things that have worked out well for me and um, and and i don't know i always that's why i always feel that there's someone uh designing it for me i just feel really? sometimes you know like yeah i just have a very strong feeling cuz there's a whole thing chalked out to mujhe kabhi aisa lagta hai ki kya kabhi main mar gaya to um to i will like you know you well thought out plan tha ki bhai isko kaha ko jana tha bhai jana baap ka time aa gaya kat le aap it's no rocket science you know like it's just like keep your head down be persistent keep the clear sense of intentions and then like your luck will prevail you keep working hard yeah man i did not tell you a lot of times these same things ke you know like where you are right now at your age you are 23 24 5 i'm 25 finally finally yeah. do that i'll be like jab bhi pucho 25 se niche chal rahe the tum 25 nahi nahi 25 ka no but like the fact that you are 25 you are doing so much of stuff that uh, i was in doing 25 mein main mba kar raha tha aur ek saal main corporate ek guzar chuka tha but ko khas kaam nahi kiya tha zindagi mein waisi samajh nahi aa raha tha kya hai you are already managing companies managing people you doing what what i would uh, i mean i've done very late in my life and you doing a great job i mean so you have no idea what you're doing right now because you can't you can't see yourself in a timeline but somebody who's at 40 right now that is me I, although i don't look like 40 cuz he's there i'm not you were 26 10, 26 somebody told <laughs> you me by the way that day, so <laughs> you, do you do 20 kilometers in a month are you are no. you struggling so, <laughs> so if i'm at 40 at 40 basically if i see you and i see ki tumhare paas abhi 15 saal aur hain to bahut kuch milega inshallah taala ameen just that's ameen inshallah taala because you know you're doing i have you guys you're doing awesome stuff at 25 masla bas pata hai kya hota hai masla ye hota hai ki when you are around people like us who are at 40 who are at some point somewhere uh maybe you want you be you feel like you know mujhe bhi yahi pe mujhe bhi aana hai pass pass hi kabhi kabhi i don't think you have a feeling or not but kabhi kabhi aise feeling aa sakti hai aapke pass because you know like ab ho gaya definitely okay so mujhe to ho sakta hai aapko wo jaldi chahiye but wo jaldi mat mango to acha hai because jab wo aayega wo aayega aur jab wo aayega ho sakta hai humse bada bhi aaye aapko pass you will have the bigger opportunity because you are doing bigger things right now and you will do bigger thing keep on i think one thing which i want to tell you this uh keep on dreaming big which was what i used to think i used to do i used to 
कीप ऑन डूइंग थिंकिंग बिग और बिग का भी अपनी डेफिनेशन होती है बिग की बिग की ये डेफिनेशन होती है कि मुझे आ, वो चेक मा बनना है या मुझे आ, आ, क्या है क्या नाम है उसका स्टीव चॉफ बनना है बिकॉज वो नहीं बनना आपको आपको वो करना है जो आप आपके लिए बिग है यू नो व्हाट दैट दैट्स व्हाट यू वांट टू डू समटाइम्स आई फील लाइक आई जस्ट वांट टू चिल आई डोंट वांट टू टेक अप डू बिग थिंग्स आई वांट टू टेक अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम डूइंग बिग थिंग्स एंड अदर टाइम्स आई बी लाइक यू नो व्हाट माय मोड्स ऑफ डूइंग बिग थिंग्स हैपन टू मी आई एम स्टार्ट थिंकिंग सो ये भी है नो केम फ्रॉम हियर डिड इट आई फेल्ट इट really but you will do good inshallah taala inshallah taala just make sure that keep on working hard and uh, and don't get disillusioned <clears throat> at any point in time mm-hmm. honestly i have stories to tell you about you know when i was disillusioned but time nahi hai mere khayal hai lekin yeah. disillusion yeah. because ultimately you all you need to say yaar jo bhi ho raha hai and i think this is what you need to tell i mean this is what i need to tell to all my students so everyone who's listening is is that Uh, जो भी हो रहा है वो आपकी बेहतरी के लिए हो रहा है आई थिंक ये याद रखना एंड यू हैव सीन सम टफ टाइम्स इन योर लाइफ एंड माशा यू कम आर ऑफ इट एंड यू सुपर स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड उस वक्त नहीं समझ आ रहा होता उस वक्त आप जब होते हैं उसमें एक चीज और याद रखना आई डोट नो बट यू हैव इट मेरे साथ एक अच्छी चीज ये है आई डोंट रिमेम्बर बैड टाइम्स आई डोंट रिमेम्बर दैम आई हैव बीन थ्रू सम बैड टाइम्स बट आई डोंट रिमेम्बर दैम लाइक द जॉब दैट आई लॉस्ट वेन आई वॉज आज टू लीव वॉज अ बैड टाइम फॉर मी बट नाउ आई लाफ अबाउट इट यू आई लाइक कितना छुतिया छुतियापा मारा था यू नो आई मीन उस पर जब आपको आपको लो Yeah. Um, and there many other time. I mean, I was at Sh- at U Chicago. I remember this another story. U Chicago, me tap, and I was selected for a very high profile uh, consulting assignment to Dubai from Chicago. All expenses paid, five star uh, for for Barclays, and I was like the person they picked because I had worked in Islamic banking for a little while, so they wanted me in the team. But Fulbright said, "No, you're not going." because you came on our expenditure we're not letting you go out of the country you got to sort of spend the money in part in us and i was like in tears i was like you know what but in retrospect i left banking why was i going back to banking us waqt mujhe rona aa raha tha ki main kyun nahi ja paya wagaira wagaira but acumen was waiting waiting, waiting for me mm-hmm. i would not have gone to acumen if this would have if this had happened mm-hmm. so you know like so these things you don't think about them but they are somebody is trying to sort of close some doors open some other doors um and you got to believe that good things will happen to you yeah. you should always by the way believe good things will happen to you no like for sure and like what you're saying about this my take on it is that like i keep the bad memories uh alive for the reason that like i look back at it and it's a source of strength for me and no no i don't think they're a source of them trust me they're not source of interest they will only take you to dark places ट्रस्टिंग I think ये भी बहुत जरूरी है. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I ask you something that. as a final question, actually. If I was to ask you, um, what do you wish you knew when you were younger, maybe my age or as your students' age or maybe Shibal's age? What do you wish you knew uh, that you know now? I don't know what I know, man. Honestly speaking, मुझे नहीं पता मुझे क्या पता है. आह मुझे ये पता है कि मुझे बहुत कुछ नहीं पता है. Honestly speaking. मुझे भी लगता है मुझे काफी चीज नहीं पता है बट थिंग्स हैव बीन लाइक आई हैव बीन आई थिंक माय जर्नी हैज बीन लेस पेनफुल देन अदर्स देयर वर देयर वर टाइम्स व्हेन आई वुड एवर हैव आस्क फॉर आई हैव गॉटन इट इन वन वे और द अदर 
I used to pray, uh, and I was very like used to pray a lot. Avid prayer. Namaz bar. Yeah. अब नहीं पढ़ता लोग बोलते हैं तू तू बहुत पढ़ता था नमाज़ अब क्या हो गया एनीवेज सो आई 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 टू 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 यू नो वांट वांट गो एंड स्टडी डू वन फाइनल डिग्री एंड एंड इट हैपेंड ऑल एक्सपेंसेस पेड थैंक्स टू फुटबैट दैट I wanted to start a school, and it happened. Um, and I, I have now two schools. I wanted to uh, sort of uh, whatever I wanted. I wanted to give comfortable life to my parents. I've been able to do that. I wanted to do a lot of stuff, and I've been able to do that. Um, so I think, but I have also not asked for more. I have not asked for like, "Give me." बहुत सारी गाड़ियां चाहिए बहुत सारे घर चाहिए एंड ऑल दैट ये बड़े इम्पोर्टेंट है कि जो आपकी जो आप चाहते हैं वो आपको मिल जाए कभी ना कभी मिल जाए और आपको वो फीलिंग ना हो कि ओ माई गॉड आई वॉज रिजेक्टेड uh and i think there is also one more last point that i want to raise uh, i think a lot of people have a different uh, thinking process some people have insecurities i have my set of insecurities i think uh but some people have insecurities which are so big that they end up hurting them no. uh luckily um <clears throat> i don't have at least I don't have those insecurities that have made me um, sort of uh, um, make 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 made me uh, not go about things the way I wanted to. You know, like कभी भी hindrance नहीं हुई वाले मसाइल नहीं हुए. हुए भी हैं तो मैं I've overcome. I've I've done a job. I've done talk to myself and come out of them. So I think that's very important. I think I uh, had talked to my parents for that. Because they have always given me a lot of confidence, and I think I think that wrong sense of confidence also gets you a lot. That you are very cheap, you are very alloy, you are so bad. You are my child. You know that also has helped me. You know, like you always feel that you know you can you can cross that bridge. Yeah. You can do it. Just do it. Voila, yeah, this yeah. feeling. I think, I think that's why I was lucky in that manner as well. So good, good parents who have helped me a lot. Great. Yeah, I think. Thank you very much for doing this, by the way. Very much for what? For coming on and doing this. This behind. Oh, the thank you. Yeah. If anything, well, number, number. Number for the both of us. No, I I loved it. Yeah, I don't care if it's long. It, I feel like a, you and I also have also bonded after a while because of this. So yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's good for us. So yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you once again for coming on. Thank that you. Was, uh, thank you. Ali and Mazada. Um, The OG in my life, the co-founder of Cedar College and the IB School, and also an overall cool dude, elder brother type figure, mentor type figure. See you guys next week, same day, same time. To the next one, peace out. Bye bye. Bye bye.